We begin with the latest that's coming from the Israel-Hamas war. In the conflict, as it escalates with every passing minute and there is no end in sight, in Gaza, the number of civilian casualties is increasing every day. In the latest, a large explosion and flying flares were seen over the Gaza Strip as the battle between Israel and Hamas rages on. The images captured are reportedly of heavy clashes in northern Gaza. The source of the explosion or the flares have not been confirmed yet. Now, 31 premature babies have been safely transferred from Gaza's main hospital to another hospital in the south. The joint operation by the United Nations and Palestinian Red Crescent moved the babies in incubators to Rafah, near the border crossing into Egypt. Now, this comes as the fate of the newborns at Al-Shifa Hospital captured global attention after the release of images showing doctors trying to keep them warm. According to Gaza health officials, the babies will be moved to Egypt after they are stabilized in Rafah. The health officials further added that eight premature babies had died in, an, in Al Shifa due to lack of power and medicines. وصل الطاقم الطبي وصل طبيب ووصل التمريض الأربعة الذين كانوا موجودين معهم والعدد النهائي الذي وصلنا 31 طفل هما كانوا بالأساس 39 استشهد منهم 8 أطفال كان آخرهم هذا الصباح 2 في مجمع الشفاء الطبي الآن في منهم حالتهم حرجة تم وضع واحد منهم الآن على دفع on the other hand, Israel has published video of what it described as a tunnel dug by Palestinian militants under the Gaza Strip's biggest hospital. The Israeli military said that it discovered a 55-meter tunnel which was 33 feet underneath the Al-Shifa hospital complex. Now further adding that the tunnel complex included a staircase, a blast-proof door and a firing hole that could be used by snipers to block Israeli forces from entering. Now, the Al-Shifa hospital has become a focal point for Israel's subsequent military operations in the Gaza Strip. Now, Israel's military has released security camera footage where it claims to show hostages being brought into the hospital on the 7th of October after being kidnapped during Hamas attacks on southern Israel. This is 7th of October, 10.55 a.m. The evidence I will share was sent by Israel to diplomatic channels to the countries of those civilians. Here you can see Hamas taking a hostage inside the vicinity. He doesn't look even, he even doesn't look, need, to, need a treatment, but they're taking him inside the hospital. I will now share this video that shows the same hostage entering into the hospital with the gunmen, terrorists inside the hospital. This is the main entrance of the hospital. And as the war between Israel and Hamas militants rage on to the seventh week, Gazans mourned the death of Palestinian journalist Hassan Aslim, who was among 31 people killed in an Israeli strike in central Gaza. Another local journalist, Sari Mansour, was also killed in the strike. It's a double whammy for the Gazans. Strong wind and rain lashed a refugee camp in Khan Yunus. Residents worked to keep their temporary shelters standing. Plastic sheets used for the shelters' walls and roofs and were whipped in the wind. And roofs which were wind whipped in the wind while rain created large puddles on the ground between tents at the refugee camp in Khan Yunus. Now, camp inhabitants can be seen mending and strengthening their temporary homes as the bad weather hit the area. Some fixed wooden frames beneath plastic sheeting, while others dug trenches in the camp's passageways. Now, the misery of Gazans, which has worsened in recent days with the arrival of winter as cold winds and driving rain tent camps, aid continues to trickle into the Gaza Strip from Egypt to provide aid to more than two-thirds of Gaza's population of 2.3 million who have fled their homes. Moreover, according to the French president, France will send an airplane with more than 10 tons of medical supplies at the start of the week and will contribute to European Union medical and medical aid flights. It is also preparing a second hospital ship which will arrive in Egypt in the coming days. Meanwhile, Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei 
appealed to Muslim states with political ties with Israel to at least cut them for a limited time, weeks after he called for an Islamic oil and food embargo on Israel. Muslims, توی مجامع و توی ازارات و اینها محکوم میکنن گاهی حالا بعضی محکوم هم نمیکنن بمباران ها رو اینها رو بعضی محکوم میکنن این کافی نیست